So then, if we uh, take a look, it is very, very good likeness. I really do like the detail on this figure. Um, really good detail, of, um, great likeness of Julian Glover. Um, the hair has sort of a um. Okay, it's doing this thing again. Hang on. Hey, there we go. It's uh, sort of sort of brown hair with a grey wash over it on it. it. Doesn't look too brown on camera, but it is. It looks more black, but yeah. Um, if we go down, um, he's got his blue oh blue neckerchief here with the golden thing on it um, his shirt has the black collar piece and then it's got the waistcoat with the jacket on top uh, again there are some quality control issues with this there and there the flipping scratch on it but never mind um, he has his right. Blue handkerchief here. If we go down, uh, we've got the black. Oh, you see the black um, shirt. Oh, you can see the bits of the shirt there, and uh, the hands. Um, go down. He's wearing his nice shoes. Um, the base for this figure is actually a primeval figure. Um, I don't know who it was. I don't know who it was. I don't watch primeval. I actually don't have any of the figures I've been meaning to, but no. um, in his hand he has the ring. Yeah, which. I I'm not sure what it is. I haven't seen the whole of the episode, but now that I have this set, I might. I haven't seen the whole of the story. I mean, now that I have this set, probably will. Um, it's just there's a bit missing on YouTube, so. Um, yeah. His hands are quite loose on mine. Um, I'll probably do some articulation on this. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll do some articulation now. Um, I can't speak. The head doesn't do a 360. The jacket. Up. The arms do a 360, 360. Biceps bend at the elbow. 360 at the wrist, which is very easy to turn. No effort at needed at all. Um, the waist does a 360, <clears throat> and the legs go forwards, backwards, in, out, in, out, you shake it all about. Uh, the thighs do a 360, bend at the knee, and no foot articulation. So, now we'll get on to other stuff. Um, he's back. Yep. He's all right. So... <laughs> Um, whoa, tripod gone, sorry, hang on, right. So, here he comes with a gun. Here. Whoa, camera went over. Um, so, yeah, he has his gun, and, um, yeah. Uh, not much to it, it's just a black gun. Uh, which fits nicely. Into his hand. Like that. Um, now, of course, as I mentioned in the beginning, the swappable head. So, it's quite easy on mine to... 
put the head on it. Just getting it off, it's a bit of a pain. You can see the plug there. Um, we just take Jagroth head. And there he is. Uh, so the head is a sort of a um, very on the Im on some of the images it looks uh, quite green. Um, but it's not. It is a very very dark green, almost sort of grey black uh, thing. And he has the one eye in the middle of his forehead there. Middle. Um, and then he has these tentacle things coming out. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I don't think I'll display him much with this head on. Because, as you can see, it looks rather silly. As it is not in scale with the body. Unlike his normal head. Yeah, um... But, yep. And now on to the final bit, which is the fake Mona Lisa. Now, this is very, very nice. Uh, you can see the Mona Lisa there. Um, yep, you probably just saw that. Which kind of ruins it, because I was going to... Stop showing that. Stop it. Right. Um. It's got a very nice frame. Right. Um. Very, very well detailed. Um. I must say, for such a small scale. Um. Yeah, it is really, really good. Uh, it's a dark gold. Um. To make it look like old and stuff. Um. On the back, it's wooden wood and the sea thing I don't really know what that means um, it's sort of rubbery this um, but the picture and very nice texture to it sorry all sort of thing um, yeah anyway now onto the little feature if you just Sorry if you heard any of that, my dog's gone crazy, but yeah, um, we just, bear with me, yeah, here it is, right, if we, now, I didn't know about this until Batman March's review, until I watched Batman March's review, which is, um, if you get like the tenth Doctor Sonic screwdriver, ninth Doctor doesn't really matter. But you can actually see that it does say this is fake. This is a fake, which is brilliant because if in the episode, um, basically, Scaroth or Count Scarlioni has a bunch of fake Mona Lisas to sell to everybody to all these planets. Um, because it is the most, you know, the, the most, the most, uh, you know, precious painting. So he's basically got a bunch of copies in the cellar. And, um, the doctor writes on, um, this is a fake for Romana. And it is actually his handwriting. This is amazing. So yeah, that that is really really good. I'm really impressed that they added in that. Um, so that's pretty much all I have to say for this set. Um, gotta say, a fantastic little set. Um, I'd probably give it a ten out of ten. Uh, this is marvelous. Um, so thanks for watching this review, guys, and. Bye.